Welcome to Devotions for Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. I'm Pastor Deborah Muter at Gethsemane Lutheran Church. Glad to have you join me today. You know what? If it's the 25th, it's just seven months till Christmas. Yay! Let's begin with the prayer of the day. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, before the foundation of the universe and the beginning of time, you are the triune God, author of creation, eternal word of salvation, life-giving spirit of wisdom. Guide us to all truth by your spirit, that we may proclaim all that Christ has revealed and rejoice in the glory he shares with us. Glory and praise to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. It's Tuesday, so it must be Psalm Day, and we have today, uh, for this weekend, the Psalm reading for Holy Trinity Sunday is Psalm 29. Let's hear it, this Psalm of David. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forests bare, and in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. <clears throat> Part of the reason that this sounds a little I don't know, unusual is because it's a psalm. It's a song. It's a repeated, there are the repeated phrases. Um, and often in the psalm, there are psalms, there are things called doublets, which means that there are two parts together. Um, let me get this back. Okay. Uh, where it, it's, it's repeated. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when I have the reading on the screen. Okay, but but the repetition, ascribe to the Lord heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. So it's repeated, and we need that repetition quite often. Uh, the voice of the Lord, you hear, you hear, you hear things again and again. Um, so the whole theme here, obviously, is about God's power. It's about the majesty of God, the things that God has done in nature and in, in general in the world. Of the Lord is the Lord over the earth. He's the Lord over the nations. That covers everything. That covers the whole natural world and the whole human world. Um, and God's voice is so powerful that it breaks the cedars of Lebanon. Imagine huge, huge, thick cedar trees. That God's voice is so powerful that it just kind of can like break into pieces. These huge trees. Um, the point is not that God's God would do that to trees, but that God can, that God has this incredible power and strength, even when he just speaks. And it doesn't just mean loud. It means that God's voice is what God has to say is important and to be listened to. We know that we don't always act on it. So um, that's a reminder for us in this today. This is just a wonderful uh, praise psalm that we can use, that we can read through, that we can remind ourselves all the things that God has done. And what about if we modernized it in the sense of saying, this is what the psalmist of that time said. What would we say now about how powerful God is? What are the things in this world now, nations and the earth and the, the powerful things that God can do and does in our lives and in the lives of people all throughout the world? something to think about, right? Okay, let's go ahead and pray together now. We bring our prayers before you, dear Lord. We praise you and we thank you for. We pray for our concerns for this world and for our nation. We pray for the concerns of the communities in which we live. We 
We lift our faith communities up to you. We pray for our friends and our families, for those dealing with difficulty and those celebrating with joy, including Libby, Joanne, Bill, Don, Jill, Kara, Steve, the Ministries of Wordly Youth and Family Center, and the Indiana Kentucky Synod. Be with us this day and help us in the following ways. And as you, Lord Jesus, have taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.